What's up, foodies? We're back with another cooking video featuring the mom. Hi! This time I promise I wouldn't ask if I'm her favorite kid, but <laughs> to be honest. Okay, so today she's gonna show you a recipe that she does every end of the year, and it's something that in our home has really become a bit of a tradition. It's something that we always look forward to. So take it away, mom. Okay, this is a very special dish that my mom handed down to, to us. My siblings and my dad always uh, looking forward for this kind of dish every year and and we enjoy this very much. Okay, so it might look like a lot of ingredients. I know it's a bit scary for some of you who don't really cook, but just watch, my mom's gonna make it real simple. So we start with the peanuts. It should be roasted and unsalted. Don't buy the salted one because I'll show you a bit why. And there's a bean sprout, the snap peas, the coriander, onion, garlic, chicken stock, medium ground pork, green onion, carrots, string beans, tofu. I personally prefer the fried tofu one because I find it tastier and this is the packaging that you're looking for and we have the leaf lettuce and last but not the least is the spring roll wrapper and I buy this kind of brand well with that being said let's, let's cook, cook. Alright mom, so what's the first step to the recipe? The first step to this recipe is to make our meat filling for 10 to 12 people. And we start off with two small onions that we diced. And then we ground 20 cloves of garlic and we took one third of a cup to, for our meat filling and save the rest for our garnish. And then we have 600 grams of tofu that we, we cut it into strips. And we have four large carrots that we shredded. Mm -hmm. We have 750 grams of string beans that we shredded it by using a peeler. And two tablespoons of soy sauce. Three tablespoons of cooking oil. One and a half cube of chicken stock. 500 grams or half a kilo of uh, medium brown pork and we have here a reserve water like four cups of water and we will just add it in as needed first we have to heat up our pan to a medium high heat and then add our cooking oil and then next to it we have to add in our onions Make sure the onion is uh, caramelized before adding in the next uh, ingredients. We're gonna add in our garlic. Smells good. Oh yeah. <laughs> now we add in our pork. Make sure you spread out the pork so that it will be cooked. Yeah. Okay, the, the meat are cooked now. I'm gonna add in the tofu. Now add in the soya. Now we're gonna add in our carrots. One cup water. Now 
we can add another one put the your pot to high heat and then the chicken stock let it boil before you add in the green beans I'm adding in another cup of water we're gonna add the beans now part of the beans you can add in again part of the carrots And then all of the beans we're going to add the last cup of water we will let it simmer for a few minutes put it in a medium heat we just want it to boil a little bit not too high I'm going to taste this if I need some soya sauce. Because we need just only one tablespoon of soy sauce. The secret of this uh, recipe is uh, the longer you simmer it, the tastier it is. We're gonna let it uh, simmer for about uh, 10 minutes under low heat and get back after that okay our meat filling has been simmering for more than 15 minutes and it really looks good it smells really good too yeah and uh, the vegetable this is the the kind of uh, end product that we're looking for the vegetables are, are not really too cooked but it's just uh, enough to eat the uh, and enjoy so we have here one and a half cup of bean sprout that we're going to stir fry and one and a half cup of snack peas which we took off the tips and clean it and we cut it into hubs we will also stir fry it now that our meat filling is already done the next step is to put this meat filling to a container but you will need a colander because there's a lot of juices on this and when we wrap it, we need it to be dry Okay, so we finished preparing the uh, main meat filling now we're gonna kind of go through all the garnishes you can mix and match, you can choose how much you want to add in, in depending on how much um, and depending on how, how, what type of flavor you want in your wrap uh, so here we have coriander, it adds a nice brightness to your wrap uh, we have the stir-fried um, snap peas the stir-fried bean sprouts you really only need to stir-fry it very lightly as um, my mom did uh, just because you want it to stay kind of crunchy you don't want it to get soggy we have the blitz garlic that you have here this adds a really nice kick to it but don't add too much especially if you're on a date uh, here we have um, half a cup of sugar that we blitz with half a cup of peanuts uh, this adds a nice sweetness to the dish but also has that peanutty flavor and we also have the sliced green onions we use the stems uh, don't use the green part um, and here we have the leaf lettuce we've kind of just broken them up in um, bunches like this and you'll see what we're gonna do with that okay we start with this wrapper this is the wrapper that we showed you a while ago and we actually have to tear it apart because it's stuck together and this is the one piece that we're, we're gonna wrap our spring roll so in wrapping, we start with the lettuce. Put it in the. That's the first thing you have to cook. Then next to it is the peanut, peanut sugar. Put as much as you want. If you if you like peanut and uh, sweetness, you can put more. And then we can put the garlic. Just uh, be easy on the garlic because it's gonna be hot. And then there's the meat filling now, the main course. Take one spoonful, but try to arrange it in a in a lengthwise because you don't want it to be puffed. 
just thinly so that you'll be able to roll it easily then you'll have the bean sprout just a few pieces and then the snow peas also maybe three pieces is good enough this is only to add crunchiness and some coriander if you want more you can add two and then we have here the green green onion just spread it out here and then we start rolling it first thing to do is push back all the vegetable and then press it back close it on the side and the other side you could always leave this open on the other side it's up to you but you have to make sure that you hold it right and then roll it all the way but hold tightly until you close it now you can eat it like that okay well after all that hard work there's uh, nothing left to do but to uh, enjoy Mmm. Mm. I want some more garlic. <laughs> I don't have a date, so it's okay. <laughs> See you guys next time. Bye bye. <laughs>